All right, welcome back to Let's Play Feed the Beast Genesis with Kinchin. It's going to be another kind of partial episode, not really in our progression path here, but I am really hurting for stone brick. I mean, I guess we're going to explore the city, right? This might just become a full episode if we're doing that out, right? And, you know, on camera, I want to do most of my progression. Off camera, I don't mind doing things that are like construction-y or maintenance-y. Things that aren't exciting on camera, but mining stone is not very exciting, even with alt mine. Um, and then cooking stone in furnaces is underwhelming, and that's kind of where our rate limiting step is right now. So I decided that instead of making stone, we'll go over here and we'll knock down a building or something. We have uh, one sacred salt, which will only buy us 40 seconds of safety. So we're probably going to have to slog our way through some stuff. So I think it might be interesting content. We'll see. We have some things in case of emergency, but, you know, see, that's a nice stone bricky building there. So we'll take that home with us. I wish more of this building was stone brick. We'll turn off the light overlay since we really don't need that. And I guess we'll just start mining, right? We make our stone tools out of andesite now. All right, so we'll just make nine of these for now. Take this with us. And let's see what we get here. I hear the zombos. Oh, what do you think is inside this building? I mean, I guess we're going to explore the city, right? This might just become a full episode if we're doing that. Oh, we desperately need to drink. Yep, there's a zombie. Yeah, so we learned uh, off camera that the mods wear mobs wear radiation suits and if they don't have radiation suits on they will die if they get irradiated. <laughs> All right, so what does this thing look like? Ooh, deep slate tiles. That's cute. So I guess we'll start with this building, right? Oh, hey, buddy. I don't really care about damaged stuff, right? This is so much easier than baking this ourselves. Thank gosh the city and its infinite resources are here for us. Okay, oh, all right. Oh, there's an enchanting table down there. That's fine. All right, we do have to change this to construction mode though. Oh my gosh, another one. All right, we gotta start red. We are getting that enchanting table. Yep, we can mine with this pickaxe. Hey there, buddy. Oh, there's a chest down here. Oh, there must be a spider spawner under here. Yep. Oh, God. going to have to wall this off real quick. We'll worry about the f water situation afterwards. Let's see, we should have enough. What do you think that sound is? Is that a drowned? I bet that's drowned. Okay, so the chest was bait. We'll do this just so that things don't come across. Um, so the spiders can't get through, and we'll break this. We'll see what happens. Yep, there they are. I'm hoping this drops something. 
Um, but even if it doesn't, we don't get value out of these spawners because the mobs don't drop materials, right? I mean, they drop experience. So we could make a like a spider farm or something with this. Not that that's even convenient. Uh, what? Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. We'll take out some Terra Wart. Just in case. So that's kind of cool that... That works that way. So we'll... Try something a little sneakier this time. And we'll break this one. We'll hope it can't destroy blocks. Um, and we'll see. There are so many monsters to my left right now. I like that these have stats on them, like spawn delay, spawn count, entities, activation range. Does that mean I have to be within 16 tiles of it for it to activate? I bet it does. That's kind of annoying, right? Like, we couldn't use... Oh, but they're like... Pneumaticraft has stuff for this. Right? Like, you can get agitators that make it so it'll spawn things. He's kind of cute. All right. And we'll pick these back up. See what's over here. All right. Ouch. Okay, I was not expecting that. All right. You know, honestly, if we leave them over there, they just eat up zombie count, right? Like entity count. I don't really have an issue with that. I do want those bookshelves, though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. All right. I guess we, uh... You think they can use stairs? I hope not. By stairs, I mean this stuff, right? All right, let's shoot this spider off. Oh my gosh, there are so many up there. It looks like they might be spawning here. So we'll try getting light in here. Yeah, there's a monster spawner over there. There is like a entity limit on them, right? So that must be skeleton spawner. They're fighting each other now. I think it's theoretically possible for these things to use the ladder. But it looks like the ladder is stopping them from pathing far enough on to you. Oh, huh. Our sword broke. Yeah. Not super keen on fighting these with stone sword, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? I guess we'll make two of these. Where did you guys come from? 
All right. Well, this might be uh, this might be a moot point at this point. Like there are so many monsters in there that we can no longer deal. Oh, if we had sacred salt, that would help. Let's see how much we got. We got 500. We can go around and destroy these smaller buildings, right? Top seems safe. Let's go check out the bottom. There is no bottom. Yeah, okay, let's eat this building. home 4,000 of these before it starts voiding them. And I could turn that off. Oh yeah, oh, okay. The only problem with alt mine is that it does use up durability when you over like not durability, I guess person durability when you overuse it. So like when I break my tools, that uses up a lot of my satiation and whatnot. Hydration, I guess. Oh, there's a free crafting table over here, right? You know, I'll just make a bunch more. All right, I don't think I care about smooth stone slabs. So oh, there we go, one building down. Can go outside and get some of this. What's really unfortunate about the durability of stone tools is they have 131 durability and Ultimine lets you mine 64 things at a time. So you can get two good mines out to use 128 durability and then you have three durability left on your tool which is just like an unfortunate amount all right so i guess i wonder if we can make books or should i go in and try to steal these bookshelves all right because the bookshelf is the basic recipe we can we can make this all right make straw. How can we get canvas wrap? Nope. Oh, interesting. This is probably how we would use it, though. We might just bone meal. <laughs> Grassy crops. I wonder if that means, like, if we harvested... Let's see. Do we want to kill these skeletons? Thanks, guys. Are they walking through? Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, they're coming out. I don't think they can climb up, though. All right, let's go see if we can find more building or maybe more exterior wall to knock down. All right, so this is the subway. I, I don't want to damage the subway. I like the aesthetic of the subway. And I'm pretty sure this connects back to our house. Get a lot of quartz that way. Oh, we can get bricks. Um, I am going to take the bricks, I think. So let's knock this down. Let's see. Okay, so these are purely aesthetic bricks. Right. Because if we get the bricks, we can craft stuff with them. Ultimately, we need clay, which... You know, my real plan for the episode was to get Inferium Farming, Mystic Agriculture. Oh. But this works too. 
We, uh, I don't think we're getting through those buildings without sacred salt, though. And I only have one, which is not enough to do any appreciable exploring, I feel. But we will go around and pick up all of the stone brick here, right? Like, each pickaxe gets us 131. What? What is that? Eh, let's just dig in this way, right? I bet it's flush with this. Um, it's nothing. Just want to make sure we're hitting stone brick. Not any of the weird brick. We could use the uh, cracked and mossy bricks like there are. Pretty sure there's a mod called Chipped that lets you interconvert things for aesthetic reasons so we could turn them back into mossy or regular stone brick or we could just use them as is. But I see no real need to do that. Alright, let's take this with us. Let's see, it's daylight now, which is nice. I don't think that will really help us with that fundamental problem of oh my god zombies, but you know, it's better than nothing, right? These are going right into my inventory. Alright, what are these? These are terracotta. I think this building is. Those iron doors. It's got blue glass. Let's go inside. Let's see. Wah! Anvil, crafting table. All right, neat. Anvil, Ooh, chest over here. What are the chances that anything in here will be trapped? All right, and then weather vane or antenna, maybe probably antenna. I do wish there was, like, more of a motivation to explore these things. It's like, it really seems like the only thing we get are these spawners. Which, frankly, I don't care about the spawners. Since, as we just described, there doesn't seem to be any value. And if we do need them, like, there's a bazillion of them out here, right? Okay, alright, this building. Or th over there, there's, like, stuff underground. I don't know. I do know that, like, like this is all part of the Lost Cities mod, so they're, like, generative cities. So there's probably some limit to how much like value you can get out of them since they do seem pretty common in this mod pack. Uh, let's just make six of them, I guess. Let's see how our inventory is doing here. We have 2.8k. So we definitely have enough now. That. Time to. That skeleton's looking at us. He's coming for us now? I think he's coming for us. Yep, he's shooting at us. I think we uh, we go back. We got the spawner, which is a big deal. And we got 3,000 cobble or stone brick. We do have to find our um, entrance. Our tunnel. 
tunnel? It should be right around here-ish. Down there, I guess. No? Yeah, we're too far over. Let's come out under here. We had to walk up from the tunnel. Oh, there. Right. And is that? Yeah, that looks right. So maybe it's right here. Yep. Just mark that with some torches. Guess we'll take this stuff with us. Why not? Must have been from before I had the tank and I had to store everything <laughs> by hand. I didn't bring a crate with me. I'm a little disappointed it didn't feel like there was more stuff. Like even if the chests in the city had items in them, I think it would have been a little more enticing to explore. We have to be careful jumping down this that we don't hurt ourselves or more importantly our boots because our boots take durability damage faster than we do or than the rest of our armor just because they mitigate falling damage and we have definitely died because we broke our boots in an irradiated zone. Again, that was off camera, but still not fun. Okay, we'll put the bricks here because we can macerate these or something to get the actual brick bricks back. Um, let's make the alley smelter eventually. The stove I'm curious about. Farmer's Delight I think is such an interesting mod just because there aren't a lot of things that I think do cooking well. Ah, okay, we can cutting board them back into bricks. That's nice. All right. Um, oh, our enchanting table. That's right. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll just put it down for now. But we also... F this means we finished the uh, a dangerous path now, right? It's unfortunate that we died before this episode. Can we make more of these? Can we make them better? All right, so we can get enchanting clues plus two. I have no idea how um, these work now, these shelves. So you have three enchanting clues, Eterna, Quanta, Arcana, Rectification. So yeah, we're gonna have to learn how to enchant stuff uh, with uh, Apotheosis, right? Because that's what this mod pack is. That's modifying this. Guess this, uh, this really concludes episode nine here. All right, we uh, needed that stone brick so we could fill in the ceiling. I was hoping the city would be a little more interesting than it was. Um, but yeah, exciting stuff here. So in our next episode, we are going to dig into our progression again. We have a little bit more farming progression to do. So if we look at our... Project Genesis quest. Our next goal here is to... Um, we haven't done anything on biotechnology yet, but we've done selective breeding. It wants us to go into, again, biotechnology, engineer creation, bootstrap tech. So we're going to go a little more into tech mods uh, under pressure. We also need to go into sprouting new life because we need to get the inferium seeds so i think we're going to start with the inferium farmland stuff because you know me i love farming uh we do also have this seeds quest up here so when we first entered started playing in episode one we got these seeds that had different colored names than we were expecting and apparently you can just submit these as a quest reward and get unformatted spatial cells for them um, I think we also get a, a new simulation, so that'll be interesting. Uh, but we'll, we'll save that for next episode. All right. So uh, and next time, we'll, uh, we'll do some farming. I will move all these crops up there. Uh, if you didn't watch the previous half episode or one of the previous ones, uh, plants up here get environmental quality five. Whereas plants down here get environmental quality four. So that'll give us a little extra leeway on our crops. And 
we kind of have figured out the crop breeding pretty well now. So our crops are slowly getting much higher tier and with higher stats, I guess not tier, higher stats come pickier crops. But notice we have tin now and we have enough gold production to move our gold crops over there. So we bred them up and then crossbred them and got their stats to where they're useful without murdering the plant. Like if we look at these, these are at 72 out of 65 stress. Um, hopefully they'll grow at 72 out of 60 because over there, the stress capacity on these is gonna be 60, I think. Up there, it'll be back to 65. So maybe we'll just wait. I think we're, we now have everything we need to finish the upstairs farm. Uh, we do desperately need more soul stuff though. Soul sand, soul soil, uh, because the hundreds we brought back is not enough. We need thousands. And sadly, our nether has a very small soul sand valley. And worse, this is next to a flesh biome. And this thing is littered with mosquito spawners. So we've been mining out soul sand from above and soul soil, but we really need to actually get down underneath this biome and I think mine our way up. I think that's gonna be the only way we get that. And that's the only soul biome we've seen so far. You know, we've got all this nether and we have this itty bitty sliver here. All right, we haven't explored this yet. That'll probably be its own episode. Uh, I want better weapons before I really go exploring. It's annoying having to like six shot a zombie when I would much prefer to like one shot a zombie, you know? All right, so I will see you guys in the next video.